Hello everybody, welcome back to Honey Does Fierce Tarot. This is going to be a special reading here. Because I've received so many emails already about giving a reading about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, which I'm going to focus more on Johnny Depp. And I, I do want to say this, you know, have you read my um, community or whatever I've said and written down. I am Team Johnny Depp. Um, it's not going to interfere in the reading. I'm not going to let it interfere in the reading because, you know, I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of Johnny Depp, but I'm not like a huge fan, like where I look for his movies and want to see his movies all the time. You feel me? It's like more like, you know, the older movies. And then I just saw the Pirates for the first time last week with my grandchildren, but I've seen a few of his movies and he's an incredible, an incredible, amazing actor. Um, there's a lot of things during the trial that, because I kept on with the trial up to the very end, and there's a lot of things I picked up, you know, energy-wise, intuitively, and things that I was looking also as evidence, because I worked with attorneys before, like I said, many, many years ago, and I worked with a judge. So, this right here, I'm going to leave everything, every single opinion that I feel like it would interrupt the reading and I'm only going and I'm doing it with the cards, okay? And of course, whoever knows my channel, intuitively, I'll probably start channeling and that's the part that, you know, would probably bring some shit out that we, I don't know, who knows? But anyways, if you're new to my channel, my name is Maya. If you like the energy and the vibe, of course, you know, press that, press that thumbs up, thumb it up. You know, subscribe. It doesn't matter. Feel free if you like the vibe to um, like and subscribe, okay? But surely when you come in here, smash that like button, people. But let's see. I'm going to focus on Johnny Depp, okay? And if Amber Heard comes up or anything else intuition, intuitively that comes up that I'm channeling, it's going to be separate. It's going to be different. It might be some things that I don't know that might come up. It might. It doesn't matter. Let's just see what's going on here with Johnny Depp. And with this case that's going on of defamation of 2022, Minegra, tell me about, I want to know about Johnny Depp's curtain, um, um, I don't want to know nothing about the trial right now. What I want to know is Johnny's, Johnny Depp, Minegra. I want to know what he's thinking, what he's feeling right now. What is his current energy is what I'm trying to say here. So let's see. Yeah, my room is a mess. My table's a mess. This just came out of nowhere because there's so many emails coming in and just had to. But sorry for the long intro, people. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Mineira. What is on Johnny Depp's curtain? Thoughts. They came out of the fence. The Emperor, the Page of Cups, and the world came out of the fence. Okay, so, you know, Johnny right now is standing like the Emperor. He's coming out like the Emperor. He's coming out like a person that's very structured. A person that likes everything to be in order. A person that's very powerful, of course. He's an actor. You know, everybody who doesn't know him. You know, he's also a person that you know, it's very stable. It, 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 you know, he's stable. He's stable. And everybody knows this. This doesn't even have to come from tarot. He's very stable. But I feel like, you know, with the Page of Cups coming out here, it's no, you know, it's no, um, how am I going to say it? I'm trying not to channel people because if I channel, I'm going to bring a lot of dirt out. But who, who cares? I'll start channeling later. It's more like he's a hopelessly romantic person. You know, he loves to love. He loves to give the world to the people. He loves to give the people, you know, what he never had, what he couldn't enjoy, what they never gave him, you feel me? And it's like, 
I feel like with these three cards coming out, the Emperor, the Page of Cups, and the World, like there's going to be a completion of something. And it might be the end of this trial. It might be the end of, you know, everything that has been said and done. It might be the end of, you know, whatever the hell's going on. You feel me? It just depends. But I feel like he's very into himself, you know, like he's trying to stabilize and protect his feelings. He's trying to stabilize and protect, you know, the way, the power that he has, you know, that people look at him and it's like, okay, you know what? You're not going through anything. You have it all. You know, you're stable. You're powerful. You have money. You're an actor. You're known. Like, you could have it all. This is not what I'm picking up from the emperor here. What I'm picking up here is like more like he's more like into himself. I feel like you know, he wants to receive love. He wants to receive, you know, something that's going to, like, put the puzzles together of what has happened through his whole life. If you could make any sense out of it, because I know what I'm saying, but it's like she's coming in now. And it's getting a little bit like, you know. <sighs> okay, yeah, she's in. Um, It's kind of like an energy of, like. I don't feel like Johnny Depp, and it's not to disrespect him or anyone because I feel like he's a very nice, giving man, and it's even coming out here. He loves to give the world to people. He loves to fix things for people. It makes him happy. It makes him more powerful in his energy. It gives him strength. It gives him stability to be able to help others. But on the other hand, it's like he's, you know... A, pers a person that loves to protect whoever he loves, okay? Is a person that when he falls in love, he has to protect you. But I'm seeing here, you know, in his side, he protects too much. So it can get to a place, moment in time, where, you know, he could probably overprotect the person and it may come off bad, like overprotecting and wanting to give you the world and accept everything from me and I don't want you to do nothing. I want you to just sit there. And it's kind of like a selfish energy that I'm picking up from Johnny Depp's side, you know, but in a way I'm seeing it like the way that I am. It's like, just sit there and let me do everything. I don't want you to go through anything. I don't want you to go through hard times. I don't want you, you know, to work. I just want you to sit there and just let me you know, cater to you is what I'm picking up from him, which is not a bad thing. You feel me? But if you have somebody that's with you, not to mention names, it could be anybody that's with him, that's a known, that is a star, that it could be a singer, it could be anybody that's known, they have to have their life too. You feel me? But I understand where this reading is coming from and what she's telling me. Now, I feel like somebody new is coming into Johnny's life. I feel like somebody's going to come into Johnny's life. There is going to be a big announcement of it. There's going to be like a very, you know, of course, he's an actor. So it's going to be all over the place. But I feel like something new is coming to him. And I feel like somebody from the past is what I'm picking up here. Is going to reunite with Johnny. For some reason, she's telling me about Salavita. So when she tells me that, it's like somebody from the past. It could be an ex. It could be, you know, somebody that he never kicked it off with. It could be somebody that, you know saw this and it's like okay let's reconcile that's what i'm picking up mostly but it's like somebody that's gonna send them something either a letter or a text message or want to meet with him or something from the past that might want to reconsider being with him it could also be work related it could also be these people that fired him it could also be you know whatever it is that was left behind it's gonna want to come back to him with some either good news something that's gonna make him move forward because he's on top. I'm sorry. This is a winning card. The world card. You go round and round. You go through many cycles. You go through many things to get to the world card. Which means moving forward. New beginnings. Beautiful beginnings. You know, brand new things. Completions of things. This might be also something that Johnny Depp might need in his life. To complete some of the emotions. Some of the heartbreak. Some of the trauma. You know, that he has. Because it's not going to heal or forget or, you know, fix all his trauma. But it's going to help in some type of way. Because, you know... He stands like an emperor. He stands like with this power. But deep down inside, he doesn't have 
that much power. Deep down inside, Johnny feels, you know, like he... And I'm not going to say worth because I don't want to insult anybody. And I don't even want to insult him because until this reading, which might it might never happen. But I feel like inside he feels like he shouldn't be loved. He doesn't deserve love. And I feel like inside he's very, I'm going to say in the outside, you know, he looks like he's very confident. But the inside, he's not confident. And it could be from the trauma. It could be from all these things that have happened to him. But there's moving forward. And with the world card, there is... He's going to win this case, is what I'm going to say. He's going to win it. Everything is in his favor. You know, he likes everything to be in order. He likes everything to be, you know... I'm going to say, sometimes all the way his way, but he's a person that if you sit down for what I'm picking up here, you could work with him. If you try to balance things out and work with him, he will work with you. But I feel like also, look at the Empress card in the bottom of the deck. You know, it's a person that likes, you know, nurturing. And not only himself, nurturing everybody, like I said. He likes to be graceful. You know, he's a person that knows what he wants. He knows how to get it. You know, he's a person that, you know... I feel like Johnny Depp is a person that I feel like if he wouldn't be so much in the media or be a person that wasn't known and he still was a star, I feel like... He would be a person that would give so much to so many different people. I feel like if anybody would just rock, walk up to him randomly, is what she's telling me, like, he doesn't care who you are. He, he, he doesn't even care if security's around. He will, he will try to help someone, but there's a big, big... He's going to come out like the emperor. He's going to come out like the winner. He's going to come out like, I finally stabilized. I finally stabilized this that's going on here. You know, it's a powerful ending is what I'm picking up here. A powerful beginning and a powerful ending. And most of all, order. You feel me? How it's supposed to be. Not all these lies that I'm seeing here. There's a, a, a note here that was sent to him by somebody. It could have been um, Amber Heard. It could have been anybody apologizing or trying to like, you know, side him out of this. And it could have been Amber Heard because she's telling me. So if she's telling me that Amber Heard might have sent him a letter or might have communicated with him and he's my he's my not even saying anything about it because when I was looking at the chart, I was picking up so much things that he didn't even say that I'm hoping it comes out here because I do want to say it. If it doesn't come out, I still say it anyways. But we're doing the cards right now. You know, I feel like she did call him at some point and tried to like communicate with him very recently before the trial started. To please not do this. Because she knows things were going to come up. Okay, so let's see. Very fake person. She's very fake. Like this person, you know, it's like, let me see. Let me throw down the cards. That's what I came in here for. The Queen of Cups. This is this reading is like going really good for Johnny Depp. Like, damn. Like, you know... A person that's loving, a person that's stable, a person that goes with the flow, a person that's caring, a person that takes care of people, a person that will give you the world. I feel like he gave this woman the world, which obviously, you know, we cannot deny that because he has money. But I feel like it's not even about the money. I feel like the the, the heart that this man has is golden, but it's shattered. And I feel like he gave her everything and his power that he could, like an emperor that's standing here. I feel like he went all about, all out of his way to give her everything that she wanted. And she took it for granted. You know, it's like more partying here, drinking, celebrations, using than anything. You feel me? And I feel like, you know, he likes to party, he likes to drink, he likes to do whatever. But I feel like he didn't like to do it, like, was surrounded by people. I feel like he calls himself up because I feel like he's very insecure, which he shouldn't be. But knowing his past and everything is, like, a major problem for him. I feel like also I'm picking up an energy, like... You know, I feel like... Inside, deep down inside, with all the crazy shit that has happened here and all the crazy 
drama that has happened here and all the fucking pathetic and fucking sickening words this woman, you know, accused him of and all the shit that she accused him of. Deep down inside somewhere in Johnny's heart, he still loves Amber. But not like in a in love, I want you back. I, he still has some type of love for her and he will forgive her. Is what I'm picking up. He will forgive her. He will never speak to her again, maybe. And he will never have her in her life. But he will forgive her for this. He's a very forgiving man. I wouldn't fucking forgive the bitch. You feel me? <laughs> At all. But at the end of the day, I feel it. It's like it's here. And by the way, if y'all didn't know, he's a Gemini. So I don't want you Geminis not thinking, okay, this is my reading. Because this is only for Johnny Depp, okay? So yeah, he is a Gemini. So you can have his, you know... Cold and, and dry moments, you feel me? Cold and cold and hot moments, you know. Gemini's flip. Some Gemini's don't. I have two Gemini daughters, and one is very different than the other. You feel me? But let's see. Oh, it just popped and hit my face. Like what the hell? The wheel of fortune. This can't get any better. Like everything's moving towards Johnny's way. You know, it's a turning point for him. And I feel like what I'm picking up here, you know, I feel like there's things that Johnny signed, you know, heard in audios or heard in recordings or things that he might have, like, seen in the courtroom when it came to, like, you know, his attorneys, people in the courtroom, people outside of the courtroom really cheering for him in a situation, in such a hard situation. And really, like, you know... You're going to win, Johnny. You feel me? Like, you, we got you. Like, we're with you no matter if you win or not. I feel like it's going to be a turning point for him. But I feel like he's also going inside of himself. And he's kind of looking at things that he possibly might have not remembered that he said in audios. But a lot of things that he said, he does remember it. He did mean it at the moment he was saying it. But I understand why. He was giving this world. He was being an emperor to this woman. And giving her the fucking world. You feel me? He was giving her the world. And she took advantage of that. You know, with all these little things. I feel like, you know, she took a lot of advantage of this. You feel me? And it's like, you know, I feel like she did love him at some point in the beginning. But I feel like she plotted everything from the beginning. And it turned more into like, you know... This is going to be my destiny. This is going to be my fate. But I feel like it's more like about the money. It's more like about the fame. It's more about look at me. You feel me? And then when she got to the top, she was going to drop him. Is what I'm picking up here. You know, it's a very nice flowing energy that I'm picking up from him right now. Right now at this moment. Very like flowing energy. I feel like he's, you know... I feel like at this moment, he feels like he's a little bit scared. He's a little bit nervous. I feel like he's a little bit like, you know, feeling like burdened up. Like there's a lot on him, of course. But I feel like it's more like the emotional thing happening after the trial ends. I mean, after the verdict is in. Even if he wins, it's like the nervousness that I'm feeling from inside of him. It's like my chest is tightening up. I feel like he's nervous. Even if he wins, it's like... I still feel like the lack of, um, I still didn't win. You feel me? If it, 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 it makes sense. Because I feel like even with everything going on, yes, he brought it out to the light. Yes, he wanted people to know. It's like a burden for him. And I feel like moving forward, if he does not let, get a person that really cares for him and loves him and really shows him the trust and the love that he needs, Johnny, you know, moving forward... He's going to move forward no matter what. These are beautiful cards coming out for Johnny. The Emperor, the Page of Cups, the World, the Queen of Cups, the Will of Fortune. It can get any better. Like, he's going to win this. But he's carrying a lot of, you know, burdens inside of himself. He's struggling a lot inside of himself. And even if he wins, he'll smile. But he's going to walk out still struggling. And not only because of the win. You know, it's, it's, it's struggling internally. And I feel like... Even the happiness of winning, the happiness, you know, of pouring out the truth out there so the world could know what you're going through. It's like still inside, I feel like no satisfaction. 
I feel like, you know, internally he needs a lot of help. Internally, it's like he's very damaged inside. You know, and I feel like, I feel like he numbs himself, you know, I feel like in the beginning he would numb himself to the point where he don't want to think about things, you know, starting as a child, but I feel like he, it's already like an addiction and yeah, it's like he, look at the hermit card in the bottom of the deck. It's like very quiet thinking, you know, what's going to happen to me after this? What am I going to look like to the world? I'm still going to be looked at, you know, across the world like a person at some point that had to go to trial and look like a, look, like a woman beater. You get me? But he's in hermit mode, like I said. He's thinking a lot. He's soul searching. He's trying to, like, you know, understand himself. And I feel like, you know, there's going to be a turning point at some point because I feel like he's going to understand some things that he quite didn't see before when it comes to the way that they showed the audios, the way that he was hearing himself, the way that I feel like he's really into himself right now, to tell you the truth, because I'm picking up the energy so hard. It's like he's not even recognizing at some point the things he said and how hurtful his words could have been. Even though it doesn't matter because it's a very difficult case here. But I feel like it's kind of like more like a healing energy and more like I'm afraid to move forward. But he is going to move forward very successfully. I feel like he's going to get more now than what he had before. He doesn't really need it. He's a major star. You know, he doesn't need no more money. But I feel like he's going to get a lot of things coming his way. And people are thinking about this. I'm going to tell you this. People, with this hermit card coming out in the bottom of the deck, you know, I feel like people are thinking about this. People are going to, you know, look at him like I fucked up. And I feel like at the end of the day, people are right now like, my God, like, what the fuck did we do to him? Like, you know, like people are, you know, people knew. It's what I'm picking up that people knew Johnny didn't do this, you know, and they could have kept him. You feel me? It doesn't matter. The whole world would have still seen movies. The whole world would have still loved Johnny. The whole world would have looked at, okay, you know what? He's in a case or whatever the fuck happened here. Whatever this woman is alleging him that he did. Okay, it might be true and that might be true. But it was not going to stop anybody from watching his movies. It's what she's telling me. Aquí alguien le, le metió una, una puñalada por la espalda. You know, somebody here. Is what she's telling me. She's getting in. That somebody in the industry, somebody, you know, I don't know if it's Disney or whoever the fuck it was, Warner, I don't know what it was, but somebody want, wanted Johnny out. They were jealous of him. Even, it could have been agents, it could have been personal people that worked for him, it could have been, you know, people that surrounded him, but somebody really wanted him out. Just, it wasn't the drinking, it wasn't, she's telling me, it wasn't the drinking, it wasn't, you know, the addictions, it wasn't none of that. It wasn't even what this woman is is accusing him. It was jealousy and envy towards him. Somebody really strongly in the industry that works with him side to side and pretends to be somebody that loves him or cares for him. Or you know what, we're going to take you to the next level. We're going to get you this contract. Whatever it is, whatever I'm picking up here, really is jealous, envious, and they made decisions Upon their own, you know, thinking about what they personally thought about him in closed doors. That they already thought about him before anything happened. It wasn't about him being late. She's telling me it wasn't none of that. He still did the movies. They still kicked off. And they still made money. And they still were a success. Uh, oh, God. She's getting me confused. A success. Not confused. She's going really fast. It's like an envious type of energy. And these motherfuckers, they knew it. They were waiting for something, a big opportunity or something crazy to happen. And it was good. Let me tell you something. She's telling me that no matter what happened here, even if he would have gone to court, even if something would have happened here, they were going to do something to Johnny Depp because of envious jealousy. And if somebody wants, to, it's like an energy of like, okay, you come from this and you made it to here. The jealousy is very strong. I'm picking it up. The envy is very strong towards him let me see what else in there for Johnny Depp here this is coming out beautifully he's going to be a winner in this one 100% you see he's focusing you know he's he's resting he's contemplating with himself you know 
with the four of swords is all about going in yourself meditating thinking you know contemplating resting your mind resting your energy resting your body resting your physical state you know i believe that he's a person that believes in energies i believe he's a person that believes in spirits i believe he's a person that believes in the afterlife and all the spiritual realm i believe he has a witch side of him i believe he has intuitive side of him i believe that if you sit down with this person johnny depp you know he's a person that he could be able to read you i feel like he has gifts and i feel like he goes into himself and he tries to you know um meditate and i feel like this is what he's doing right now mostly than just like okay you know what i'm gonna win i'm gonna get this money she's gonna look like a piece of shit that's not what he's thinking he's mostly trying to find himself right now even though it's coming out beautifully here all these cards are positive it's beautiful the reading that i'm giving him it's beautiful his energy but i still feel like there's something missing inside no matter what happens no matter what moves forward no matter what else life brings to him no matter how bigger of deals or whatever comes in i feel like he's still gonna be missing something inside of him the stars in reverse in the bottom of the deck very imbalanced with his thoughts very imbalanced in general just come out on the fence look this is beautiful this is a beautiful reading for him the temperance card balance you know harmony you know i feel like somebody from the past like i said is coming in here because we're considering you know this card is also about you know reconciling with, with somebody and he might just trying to be reconciled with a part of him with his soul like this has to stop i feel like he's had three lifetimes here where he's overcome all these uh crazy things I mean, what he's overcome. Where, you know, I feel like he has three past lifetimes that he's been in where he's been very powerful. And also, you know, the addition of the drinking. But I feel like mostly he's into himself. He's a winner here. I feel like this is his last lifetime to fix this. And I feel like it's going to be the top. The power. The ending of what he has to establish in this world. With the, with the temperance card here. Now what she's telling me. This is going to be the ending of this lifetime. What he needs to fix from three previous lifetimes is what I'm picking up here. This is going to be the ending. Of course, he's going to reincarnate again and start something else. But this right here that I'm picking up is so beautiful. But then again, it's like, you know, a person that's going to um, find themselves before they end this world. I feel like he's doing a lot of healing, a lot of like, a, you know, I feel like, you know, he's learning a lot about what's happening right now. And he's also seeing things that he's looking at it like, what the fuck? Did I really say that when I was that fucked up? Did I really, really, like really fuck? And at the moment, he knew what he was saying and probably the day after. But I feel like he's saying in some certain situations here, really, did I do that? Did I say that? Like, how could I say that? But then again, he, there's no abuse here. Physical abuse, there's no physical abuse here at all. The bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. What else do you want? Moving forward. The Ace of Wands. You know, a passion and new beginning. Like I said, somebody here from the past might be coming into him. You know, that don't even sound right, but whatever. Let's keep on going. Yeah, I know I be saying some crazy shit on my reading. I don't even know why it's so bright in here because the light is not even on. Like, what the fuck? It's really bright in here. Um, I only have the backlight on. Um, I feel like, you know, he's going to be more successful than ever. I feel like they're going to see him more like, you know, a bigger thing. And I don't feel like he wants that. I don't feel like he likes that. I don't feel like he wants to see like a, you know... I don't feel like he wants people to come up to him and say, you know what? We want you here. We want you there. We want you to come back. We want this. I don't feel like he wants that. I feel like he wants to be left alone. And make his own decisions about where he wants to move next, go next, do next. Whether it's career, job, love, whatever it is. But somebody's coming in here from the past to console him. But somebody also new is coming in. 
And there could be something harmonious, a beautiful connection going on with two people here. And I don't know if y'all can notice this. I'm not going to say shit to who this person looks like. I'm not saying shit because I don't want people saying shit, but I already picked up a lot of things. And not only on his side, on the other side too. But he's mo he's moving beautiful. Let me see what else. Look. This came, this came almost in reverse. Hard times. The Five of Pentacles. It came almost in reverse. And yes, I'm reading the cards today, people. Because I'm trying not to channel. Because if I channel, I'm going to bring out a lot of dirt from everywhere. And I don't want to... I'm reading... I'm trying to read something here positive. But the Five of Pentacles came almost in reverse. So that means it wants to go reverse. So I'm going to read it. I'm not going to read reverses, but I'm going to turn it around. The Five of Pentacles is all about hard times. You know, going through a lot of struggles, feeling the lack of emotions, feeling the lack of, you know, energy, feeling the lack of whatever surrounding this person. I feel like, you know, he has had hard times, but I feel like with this coming out, it's, it's, it's completing the reading. Like, he's had so many hard times that he's not even saying half of the shit or more than half of the shit that has happened to him. You feel me? It's like, it's like looking and glazing to the world and like, why am I even here is what I'm picking up. I know why I'm here. I know what I'm doing, but why am I here? I don't want to be here anymore is what I'm picking up. A lot of storms that are creating, but I feel like, you know, he's ended a lot of cycles and started new beginnings, but I feel like internally he can't get them out of the way. Look, the king of wands in the bottom of the deck. She took his confidence away. Amber Heard took his confidence away. Amber Heard took a lot of things away. You know, I'm not going to say the past didn't cause all this because you got trauma from the past, which clearly he does. But in this situation that I'm reading right now, what I'm reading right now from this case, she took his confidence away. She took everything this man had in his power. With her fucking controlling energy. You know, he, you know, the, the, the king of wands is a leader, a powerful person, a person of honor, a person of respect, a person, you know, she took this away from him. And ever the world, the whole world is seeing this. Let me see me later. What else here? I'm telling you that. Man, this reading is beautiful. The king of pentacles followed by the six of cups. You know, discipline, you know, stabling his life, moving forward after hard times. Look at this, how beautiful for Johnny Depp, my God. Congratulations, Johnny Depp. You're going to be a winner on this, but you also need a lot of healing. You need a lot of healing. Look at this, after hard times. Moving forward beautifully. Beautifully with the King of Pentacles. Abundant, of course. With more stability, being more abundant, being more disciplined. I feel like he's learning a lesson here. And he's going to become more disciplined in whatever he does. Followed by the Six of Cups. You know, I feel like this brought him back to his childhood, of course. It's going to bring him back to his childhood because that would be stupid to even, like, you know, that's just my opinion. But I feel like even what happened to him is what she's telling me in the past that I never got... You know, any type of justice. I feel like this is all going to be justice in one. Because he's reminiscing a lot about the past. During this trial. But I feel like it's going to be like a, a justice all in one. The past put together with this trial. You feel me? What his mother did to him. I'm not going to go into details. Um, and you feel me? Like I, I hope you understand me. Because she's making me say it in a way where people might understand me. Um... All in one, but not completely fixed. But he's going to reconcile with somebody here. Somebody here from the past. It could be somebody here that he was with is going to reconcile with him. Somebody here, it could be a person. It could be people that want him back. It could be people that, you know, want to like, you know, say, I'm sorry. I apologize. I, want you. I feel like it's coming. But I feel like somebody here wants to reconcile from the past. Look at this. The king of cups in the bottom of the deck. There's love here coming up for Johnny, too. I'm not going to deny it. Like, there's a compassionate person coming in here to Johnny Depp's energy. A person that's very intuitive. A person that's very balanced. A person that's compassionate. 
And like I'm telling you, I feel something's going on here that people were talking shit about. People were, and I was like, nah. But I don't know. I don't know. It's coming out of the cards. Like, it's. But I've seen it already, you know? The King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. His confidence is coming back. He's going to be able to stand up with confidence again. He's going to be able to remove all these hard times. And move forward more disciplined and more stable in his thinking and his energy. You know, it's like self-assured, more vibrant. A person that's going to come in with that confidence again. And maybe even with more confidence. Because there's like, there's going to be a closing of something here. And it might be half of what he's been looking for in justice. Even though there's no justice card here, I'm picking it up. And I'm, I'm talking about childhood until now. Because the Six of Cups also has childhood in it. You know, reminiscing from the past or childhood. So there's something going on here. You know, the Five of Swords in the bottom of the deck. A conflicted person. A very fucking, you know, energy that's very, you know... A person that's very, like, you know, deceitful. Deceiving. And this is what he's had during this whole thing. Amber Heard. Yes, Amber Heard, bitch. A very, con my God, very deceiving person, deception, defeat. There's a lot of things that Johnny hasn't said here that hasn't come out to the light that he hasn't said, which I don't know if to say it or not because I don't want nothing to come back at me. But, but I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say it this way. You know, I don't know Johnny Depp. I don't really know his history. You know, just by looking at the case of what I'm finding out, I don't really... I don't even know he's what he was what Amber heard to the truth, and at some it might be crazy to somebody, but at some point in time I had seen her in some movie years ago. I was like, she's cute, she's kind of cute. I had like a little girl crush on her, and then that was it. I never saw her again. And when I saw this, I was like, what the fuck? He's with this girl, and then that's when I knew her, when I learned to know her name because I didn't even know her name was Amber Heard at the time when I said, oh, I like her in the movie, and it's like, you know. It's like a completion that I'm picking up here from everything, but moving forward, more confidence, but still hurting inside. I feel like he's going into himself, but I feel like there's somebody here. The Ten of Swords. The end of a difficult situation. I just said it. This is going to be ending for him. I'm not going to say completely 100% but I feel like the past is coming in with the six of cups here the past of his traumas of what he had to go through <clears throat> as a child it's going to be a completion and an ending of everything all put together in some sort of set of way it's going to be an insight also for himself looking from the inside out is what he's doing right now and acknowledging things that he had not acknowledged before the behaviors you know <clears throat> Because I feel like he's doing a lot of soul searching right now. It's like he's very into himself. Look at the bottom of the deck. He's very heartbroken. The Three of Swords. Not believing that this is happening. Betrayal, sorrow. Like from betrayal. Like heartbreak from betrayal. Johnny's a winner here. I'm sorry, people. You know, whoever does not like... This and is on Amber Heard's uh, team. I don't give three fucks whose team you're on. He's a winner. And he's not an abuser. He is not an abuser. The Three of Pentacles. Followed by the Ten of Swords. I'm trying not to channel people. She wants to come in. She wants to come in. She wants to come in, but I'm trying not to channel it. I'm trying to go by the cards. You feel me? Even though I'm intuitively reading. And she's right next to my ear. Like, say this, say that. But I don't want to say too much. But the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. Planning. You know. Oh, my God. Like, he... He's moving forward, people. With the Three of Pentacles. It's like followed by the Six of Cups here. I mean, followed by the Ten of Swords. Ending difficult situations. And starting to move forward and new planning you know it's like competence it's like teamwork and I believe that he just I believe there's going to be teamwork here and I believe and I may be wrong but I'm never wrong I believe that his attorney Camille 
Johnny's going to have her in some sort of something big here. I don't know what's I don't know what it is yet, but I feel like I know what it is. I'm in tilting picking up, but I don't want to spoil it for everybody, but I feel like he's going to move this woman up into a higher place that she has no idea that it has nothing to do with um her line of work. I feel like he wants this woman to be known in a very different way. And it could be star quality. Look at the double card on the bottom of the deck. You know, surrounding him. The temptation, the addictions, you know, the drugs, the alcohol, of course. There's no lying about that. But I feel like, you know, moving forward, this could be a new start for Johnny. And these temptations that he has. The drinking and, you know, and the addictions and everything else that's going on, you know, it's not going to stop completely, but it's going to stop somewhat where he's going to be able to function better. Let me see. Minera, throw, tell me something about Amber Heard here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It came out sideways. I was going to move the cards, but I didn't move shit. Hmm. I'm wavering and realistic. The Knight of Pentacles, a person that comes in, my God, a very controlling person, possessive with the Four of Pentacles. Possessive, controlling, manipulating, wanting it their way in no way. You feel me? A person that clings on for money situations with the Knight of Pentacles is what I'm picking up here. A person that comes in ready to get what they want. With a controlling fucking energy and being very possessive into what they want. After the money. Let me put this bitch right here. Not next to Johnny here. Give me something else on Amber Heard Me Negra. Just to be fair here. She's trying to manifest. Look at this. She's very conscious and aware of what she's doing because when the magician comes out is a person that likes to manifest things and they're very conscious, unaware of what they're fucking doing. And yes, I'm reading the cards today. She's very aware and conscious of what she wants, of what she's doing, the manipulation of what she wants to, you know, it was like, this excites her. Like this to her seems to like, a, this to her seems to be like a celebration something that excites her like a, a fucking narcissist psychopath sociopath energy that i'm picking up here she likes to be celebrated she likes to be you know in the limelight like you know let's celebrate the excitement of whatever the fuck she's doing even if she's fucking them up it's like an excitement for her but what i'm also picking up here is like <clears throat> You're going to get fucked. You're going to get fucked. At the end, she's going to get fucked. And it's not only by this child and whatever's going on here. She's going to get fucked, period. Because whatever she got going on here with a partner or with anybody or moving forward, whatever she got going on here is going to stop. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to manifest itself in a different way where she's not going to expect it. Let me see what's in the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Swords. The truth is going to come out. Victory here. And I believe it's for Johnny Depp. Let's, let's pull out some more cards. Minera, give me something else here. For Amber Heard. In this case, with Johnny Depp. Very controlled. Very possessive. A liar. A fucking demon. A fucking liar. Give me something else here. For Amber Heard. Look at this. <laughs> the anxiety, the worry, you know, the self, you know. Look, the nine of swords. It's like the overthinking, the worrying. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win. You know, I'm very controlling. I got this, but you know the worry that she has in her fucking mind right now and in her soul because she knows, she knows that she had a trustworthy person here with the page of you know, pentacles, this person, Johnny Depp was trust, he was a very trustworthy person to her, and she fucked him up, now she's worried, 
She's going through it. She's she might have not have been getting panic attacks before and all that fucking anxiety attacks that she was lying about because she wasn't getting them. Because let me tell you something: if you are getting anxiety attacks, if you're a person like me, or anybody here that gets anxiety attacks and panic attacks, you're gonna get them wherever you're sitting at. And no part of that motherfucking child did Amber Heard have any panic attacks, any anxiety attacks. Because when you have an anxiety attack, which happens to me, and it's been happening to me since I was like what 18 and I'm 50. Yo, like, you could be having the time of your life, you could be sitting there, you know, with the best shit in front of your face, and boom, that shit hits you out of nowhere, and you you can't breathe, you're hyperventilating, you don't want nobody around, you don't want nobody talking to you, you can't hear noise, you can't hear people talking, you gotta get out of the fucking, you gotta go breathe somewhere by your damn self. Did anybody see her do that in the middle of court, anywhere, in the whole damn motherfucking trial? No. You know, she never suffered from any anxiety or panic disorder. She might get anxiety like everybody does on a daily basis when you're worried about something or you got to, you know, your child or whatever it is, which I don't even think she worries too much about her child. But now she is getting those anxiety attacks. She is going to start getting those worries. She is going to start hitting, you know, her panic attacks. Why? Because she's not getting what she wants. He was very, with the page of pentacles, if you guys don't know the cards, this is why I'm doing it with the cards. And I'm not trying to channel because I don't want my channeling to people think that I'm trying to go on his side. You feel me? This is why I'm doing it strictly with the cards. And I'm only intuitively going in a little bit because I'm trying to stop it. But the Page of Pentacles is all about trust, trustworthy. You feel me? And Deep down inside this crazy ass energy that I'm picking up of hers is like, if I reach out to him, if I can make him trust me again, I will be out there in the light again. And this is not what's going to happen to her. Her anxiety is off the roof right now. And I feel like she's going to try to reach out to him at some point. You feel me? For him to go out there and say something on her behalf to make it feel better, to make her stand out again and it's not going to happen that's going to cause her a major destruction in her fucking energy look at the moon card in the bottom of the deck secrets lies but the truth coming out to the light let me see give me something else on amber heard go onto the floor Public recognition, pride with the Six of Wands. She wants to be triumphed. She wants to be, you know, recognized. She wants to win. But she's not going to win. She's worried about the win. She's not going to win. She's worried about it. She's worried about it. And the only reason why she's worried about it is because she knows she's not going to win. She knows she lied. A lot of lying here with the Four of Pentacles, a very controlling person, deceitful. You know, a lot of shit going on here. Controlling energy, possessiveness, anxiety here. Not making practical, trustworthy decisions here. It's a very deceiving energy. This is what she wants. She wants it all. Let me see. One more. Mineta on Amber Heard here. You know, people, let me see. I can't see a damn thing. Yeah, like, she's trying to reach out to her spiritual side for help. You know, there might be something going on here because that's the Hierophant. But the Hierophant for me is a lot about faith you know, a person praying, a person that is hoping for something to get better, a person that, you know, they're they're going into themselves and trying to create something that, you know, they want to move forward, but it's not going to happen. But also the hard fun to me when it comes up, it could be a court situation. It could be something like that that's going to go not in your favor. And you're hoping it does. You're hoping that you're, you're going to be trying, you know, like claiming victory. That you're going to be recognized and with full of pride. Let me see the bottom of the deck. Hermit mode. She's doing a whole lot of motherfucking thinking here. Let me finish this off with this. Minagra. Give me something here. 
on the ending of uh, Johnny Depp after this verdict goes through, after everything, which this reading is absolutely positive, amazing, beautiful, you know, very peaceful, very harmonial, you know, a person that's going to move forward, Johnny Depp, you're going to move forward. It's like, you know, getting whatever you want. But it's not only because of the money and the career and the power that Johnny Depp has. It's because he is getting justice. The justice that he deserves and that he needs. Let me see. Give me something else on this spread, Me Negra. It could be on Johnny Depp's side. It could be on Amber Heard's side. But I want more Johnny's. Give me something else, Me Negra. Okay. Let's come out like this. Just come out like this. And what's the other one? Y'all, I'm sick. I don't know if y'all, if I sound sick, but I am. Okay. Marriage upside down. The divorce he's going through. Message of concern upside down. So much of the message of concern upside down is telling me that whatever he is concerned about here. Whatever it was that he was gonna receive, because it would have if it would have came out this way, message of concern, it was like he was gonna be in shock of something that was not gonna go his way, but it came out in reverse. Meaning things are coming his way, and it's gonna be the ending of all of this. Because even though they're divorced, even though they're not together, it's gonna be the ending of these two people. That's it. It's gonna be the ending of them. Let me see. Unexpected income in the bottom of the deck. He's going to get a lot more than what people think here. And he might refuse a lot of it. <laughs> just because he wants to move forward. I feel like he wants to move forward and just like continue forward and not even like maybe do, to do like maybe a few films. But I feel like he just doesn't want to do it anymore. He's tired of it. Give me something else here on Johnny Depp. Minera. He's going to get that win. You see the judge's face? <laughs> Who is he looking at? It's like the judge is in disbelief of what the fuck is happening here. You feel me? He's going to get that win. He don't got nothing to worry about here. Look at this. The gift of the powerful win of Johnny Depp. Let me get one on Amber Heard. Oh, she went up. Whoa. Oh, oh, let me see. Where did that one land? I don't even talk like this. What's up? Let me see. Official person. Maybe jail time. Bad health. Came out. Let me see. And this was Amber Heard that I called out. Oh, concerned. Let me see what else. Came out on the fence here. Amber Heard dots. So you know what? Karma is a motherfucking bitch. You cannot be playing with karma. You cannot be playing with a person's destiny. You cannot be playing with a person's, you know, um, demeanor. And look at the bottom of the deck, courthouse. Okay, so like I'm telling you, like I picked up before, I don't even know where it was. She's going to receive bad health. Or she's already. My God, I'm losing a lot of weight. So my, you can see my rings are rolling around. Yeah, I'm losing weight. Um, the, Amber Heard is going to get bad health. Amber Heard is going to get karma up her motherfucking ass. She's very concerned and thinking a lot about her next. She's very concerned and thinking a lot. Why? Because she knows that this might be coming her way. Which is the police. Which is the courthouse. Which is justice coming after her for all the perjury that she probably did. But she might end up in a hospital or might even portray to be sick or hurt or whoever the fuck. But he's getting sick. Somebody is going to get very sick because karma does go, do, do go around. And people do have their own ancestors, their own guides. And I picked up on all of his inside that courtroom. Give me one more to end the reading, my negra. On Johnny Depp. When Amber Heard at the end. For both of them. What's going to happen here? Where'd it go? 
Y'all saw me shuffling, huh? Well, there's going to be a little problem in the courthouse for Amber Heard. And, you know, Johnny Depp, of course, could be involved because she's committed so much fuckery here. And somebody here on her side is very concerned, and it could be the sister. Police, bad health, courthouse, thoughts, concern, yo, like, ugh. Let me give one more. Mineta, give me one more. I want to see Amber Heard. Give me a card on Amber Heard here. Where'd it go? She gave me two. Look at this. A house. A very dark house. Ooh. High honor came out of reverse. Look at this. You're done, Amber Heard. You're not going to be seen. You're not going to be recognized. You're not going to have nothing. You're going to lose it all. And you already lost it all. Your home. Her home might be a problem. A dark home. A dark home. And you know what? I'm very worried about her daughter. Which is my own personal opinion. But there's going to be loss of everything. Home. Concerned. Loss of everything. High honor and reverse. Not noticeable anymore. Not a person of honor anymore. And a main because of a main male. My God. Like, I couldn't. It couldn't. This reading couldn't have been any better. But my personal opinion and what I picked up on the case and everything else, I would do it probably in a live or in another video because I don't want to make it too long. And I think it's been very long. I'm not even looking at the time, but this is beautiful for Johnny Depp. He's going to win, and he is the winner. And with a very powerful, very powerful and beautiful beginning. Okay? So, everybody, I hope you liked the video. Um, I love you all. Okay? And I'll see you later, my loves.